Self-Effacement Translated by Bhikkhu Sujato So I have heard. At one time the Buddha was staying near Sarvati, in Jeta's Grove, Anatha Pindika's monastery. Then, in the late afternoon, Venerable Mahakunda came out of retreat and went to the Buddha. He bowed, sat down to one side, and said to the Buddha, Sir, there are many different views that arise in the world connected with doctrines of the self or with doctrines of the cosmos. How does a mendicant who is focusing on the starting point give up and let go of these views? Kunda, there are many different views that arise in the world connected with doctrines of the self or with doctrines of the cosmos. A mendicant gives up and lets go of these views by truly seeing with right wisdom where they arise, where they settle in, and where they operate as This is not mine, I am not this, this is not myself. It's possible that a certain mendicant, quite secluded from sensual pleasures, secluded from unskilful qualities, might enter and remain in the first absorption, which has the rapture and bliss born of seclusion, while placing the mind and keeping it connected. They might think they're practising self-effacement, but in the training of the noble one, these are not called self-effacement. They're called blissful meditations in the present life. It's possible that some mendicant, as the placing of the mind and keeping it connected are stilled, might enter and remain in the second absorption, which has the rapture and bliss born of immersion, with internal clarity and confidence, and unified mind, without placing the mind and keeping it connected. They might think they're practising self-effacement, but in the training of the noble one, these are not called self-effacement, they're called blissful meditations in the present life. It's possible that some mendicant, with the fading away of rapture, might enter and remain in the third absorption, where they meditate with equanimity, mindful and aware, personally experiencing the bliss of which the Noble Ones declare, equanimous and mindful, one meditates in bliss. They might think they're practising self-effacement, but in the training of the Noble One, these are not called self-effacement. They're called blissful meditations in the present life. It's possible that some mendicant, with the giving up of pleasure and pain, and the ending of former happiness and sadness, might enter and remain in the fourth absorption, without pleasure or pain, with pure equanimity and mindfulness. They might think they're practising self-effacement. But in the training of the Noble One, these are not called self-effacement. They're called blissful meditations in the present life. It's possible that some mendicant, going totally beyond perceptions of form, with the ending of perceptions of impingement not focusing on perceptions of diversity, aware that space is infinite, might enter and remain in the dimension of infinite space. They might think they're practising self-effacement, but in the training of the Noble One, these are not called self-effacement. They're called peaceful meditations. It's possible that some mendicant, going totally beyond the dimension of infinite space, aware that consciousness is infinite, might enter and remain in the dimension of infinite consciousness. They might think they're practising self-effacement, but in the training of the Noble One, these are not called self-effacement. They're called peaceful meditations. It's possible that some mendicant, going totally beyond the dimension of infinite consciousness, aware that there is nothing at all, might enter and remain in the dimension of nothingness. They might think they're practising self-effacement. But in the training of the Noble One, these are not called self-effacement. They're called peaceful meditations. It's possible that some mendicant, going totally beyond the dimension of nothingness, might enter and remain in the dimension of neither perception nor non-perception. They might think they're practising self-effacement, 
but in the training of the noble one. These are not called self-effacement. They're called peaceful meditations. Now, Kunda, you should work on self-effacement in each of the following ways. Others will be cruel, but here we will not be cruel. Others will kill living creatures, but here we will not kill living creatures. Others will steal, but here we will not steal. Others will be unchaste, but here we will not be unchaste. Others will lie, but here we will not lie. Others will speak divisively, but here we will not speak divisively. Others will speak harshly, but here we will not speak harshly. Others will talk nonsense, but here we will not talk nonsense. Others will be covetous, but here we will not be covetous. Others will have ill will, but here we will not have ill will. Others will have wrong view, but here we will have right view. Others will have wrong thought, but here we will have right thought. Others will have wrong speech, but here we will have right speech. Others will have wrong action, but here we will have right action. Others will have wrong livelihood, but here we will have right livelihood. Others will have wrong effort, but here we will have right effort. Others will have wrong mindfulness, but here we will have right mindfulness. Others will have wrong immersion, but here we will have right immersion. Others will have wrong knowledge, but here we will have right knowledge. Others will have wrong freedom, but here we will have right freedom. Others will be overcome with dullness and drowsiness, but here we will be rid of dullness and drowsiness. Others will be restless, but here we will not be restless. Others will have doubts, but here we will have gone beyond doubt. Others will be angry, but here we will be without anger. Others will be hostile, but here we will be without hostility. Others will be offensive, but here we will be inoffensive. Others will be contemptuous, but here we will be without contempt. Others will be envious, but here we will be without envy. Others will be stingy, but here we will be without stinginess. Others will be devious, but here we will not be devious. Others will be deceitful, but here we will not be deceitful. Others will be stubborn, but here we will not be stubborn. Others will be arrogant, but here we will not be arrogant. Others will be hard to correct, but here we will not be hard to admonish. Others will have bad friends, but here we will have good friends. Others will be negligent, but here we will be diligent. Others will be faithless, but here we will have faith. Others will be conscienceless, but here we will have a sense of conscience. Others will be imprudent, but here we will be prudent. Others will be uneducated, but here we will be well educated. Others will be lazy, but here we will be energetic. Others will be unmindful, but here we will be mindful. Others will be witless, but here we will be accomplished in wisdom. Others will be attached to their own views, holding them tight and refusing to let go, but here we will not be attached to our own views, not holding them tight, but will let them go easily. Kunda, I say that even giving rise to the thought of skilful qualities is very helpful, not to speak of following that path in body and speech. That's why you should give rise to the following thoughts. Others will be cruel, but here we will not be cruel. Others will kill living creatures, but here we will not kill living creatures. Others will steal, but here we will not steal. Others will be unchaste, but here we will not be unchaste. Others will lie, but here we will not lie. Others will speak divisively, but here we will not speak divisively. Others will speak harshly, but here we will not speak harshly. Others will talk nonsense, but here we will not talk nonsense. 
Others will be covetous, but here we will not be covetous. Others will have ill will, but here we will not have ill will. Others will have wrong view, but here we will have right view. Others will have wrong thought, but here we will have right thought. Others will have wrong speech, but here we will have right speech. Others will have wrong action, but here we will have right action. Others will have wrong livelihood, but here we will have right livelihood. Others will have wrong effort, but here we will have right effort. Others will have wrong mindfulness, but here we will have right mindfulness. Others will have wrong immersion, but here we will have right immersion. Others will have wrong knowledge, but here we will have right knowledge. Others will have wrong freedom, but here we will have right freedom. Others will be overcome with dullness and drowsiness, but here we will be rid of dullness and drowsiness. Others will be restless, but here we will not be restless. Others will have doubts, but here we will have gone beyond doubt. Others will be angry, but here we will be without anger. Others will be hostile, but here we will be without hostility. Others will be offensive, but here we will be inoffensive. Others will be contemptuous, but here we will be without contempt. Others will be envious, but here we will be without envy. Others will be stingy, but here we will be without stinginess. Others will be devious, but here we will not be devious. Others will be deceitful, but here we will not be deceitful. Others will be stubborn, but here we will not be stubborn. Others will be arrogant, but here we will not be arrogant. Others will be hard to correct, but here we will not be hard to admonish. Others will have bad friends, but here we will have good friends. Others will be negligent, but here we will be diligent. Others will be faithless, but here we will have faith. Others will be conscienceless, but here we will have a sense of conscience. Others will be imprudent, but here we will be prudent. Others will be uneducated, but here we will be well educated. Others will be lazy, but here we will be energetic. Others will be unmindful, but here we will be mindful. Others will be witless, but here we will be accomplished in wisdom. Others will be attached to their own views, holding them tight, and refusing to let go. But here we will not be attached to our own views, not holding them tight, but will let them go easily. Kunda, suppose there was a rough path and another smooth path to get around it. Or suppose there was a rough ford and another smooth ford to get around it. In the same way, a cruel individual gets around it by not being cruel. An individual who kills gets around it by not killing. An individual who steals gets around it by not stealing. An individual who is unchaste gets around it by not being unchaste. An individual who lies gets around it by not lying. An individual who speaks divisively gets around it by not speaking divisively. An individual who speaks harshly gets around it by not speaking harshly. An individual who talks nonsense gets around it by not talking nonsense. An individual who is covetous gets around it by not being covetous. An individual who has ill will gets around it by not having ill will. An individual who has wrong view gets around it by having right view. An individual who has wrong thought gets around it by having right thought. An individual who has wrong speech gets around it by having right speech. An individual who has wrong action gets around it by having right action. An individual who has wrong livelihood gets around it by having right livelihood. An individual who has wrong effort gets around it by having right effort. An individual who has wrong mindfulness 
gets around it by having right mindfulness. An individual who has wrong immersion gets around it by having right immersion. An individual who has wrong knowledge gets around it by having right knowledge. An individual who has wrong freedom gets around it by having right freedom. An individual who is overcome with dullness and drowsiness gets around it by getting rid of dullness and drowsiness. An individual who is restless gets around it by not being restless. An individual who has doubts gets around it by being beyond doubts. An individual who is angry gets around it by not being angry. An individual who is hostile gets around it by being without hostility. An individual who is offensive gets around it by not being offensive. An individual who is contemptuous gets around it by not being contemptuous. An individual who is envious gets around it by not being envious. An individual who is stingy gets around it by not being stingy. An individual who is devious gets around it by not being devious. An individual who is deceitful gets around it by not being deceitful. An individual who is stubborn gets around it by not being stubborn. An individual who is arrogant gets around it by not being arrogant. An individual who is hard to correct gets around it by not being hard to admonish. An individual who has bad friends gets around it by having good friends. An individual who is negligent gets around it by being diligent. An individual who is faithless gets around it by being faithful. An individual who is conscienceless gets around it by having a sense of conscience. An individual who is imprudent gets around it by being prudent. An individual who is uneducated gets around it by being well-educated. An individual who is lazy gets around it by being energetic. An individual who is unmindful gets around it by being mindful. An individual who is witless gets around it by being accomplished in wisdom. An individual who is attached to their own views, holding them tight and refusing to let go, gets around it by not being attached to their own views, not holding them tight, but letting them go easily. Kunda, all unskillful qualities lead downwards, while all skillful qualities lead upwards. In the same way, a cruel individual is led upwards by not being cruel. An individual who kills is led upwards by not killing. An individual who steals is led upwards by not stealing. An individual who is unchaste is led upwards by being chaste. An individual who lies is led upwards by not lying. An individual who speaks divisively is led upwards by not speaking divisively. An individual who speaks harshly is led upwards by not speaking harshly. An individual who talks nonsense is led upwards by not talking nonsense. An individual who is covetous is led upwards by not being covetous. An individual who has ill will is led upwards by not having ill will. An individual who has wrong view is led upwards by having right view. An individual who has wrong thought is led upwards by having right thought. An individual who has wrong speech is led upwards by having right speech. An individual who has wrong action is led upwards by having right action. An individual who has wrong livelihood is led upwards by having right livelihood. An individual who has wrong effort is led upwards by having right effort. An individual who has wrong mindfulness is led upwards by having right mindfulness. An individual who has wrong immersion is led upwards by having right immersion. An individual who has wrong knowledge is led upwards by having right knowledge. An individual who has wrong freedom is led upwards by having right freedom. An individual who is overcome with dullness and drowsiness is led upwards by being rid of dullness and drowsiness. An individual who is restless is led upwards by not being restless. 
An individual who has doubts is led upwards by going beyond doubt. An individual who is angry is led upwards by being without anger. An individual who is hostile is led upwards by not being hostile. An individual who is offensive is led upwards by being inoffensive. An individual who is contemptuous is led upwards by being without contempt. An individual who is envious is led upwards by being without envy. An individual who is stingy is led upwards by not being stingy. An individual who is devious is led upwards by not being devious. An individual who is deceitful is led upwards by not being deceitful. An individual who is stubborn is led upwards by not being stubborn. An individual who is arrogant is led upwards by not being arrogant. An individual who is hard to correct is led upwards by not being hard to correct. An individual who has bad friends is led upwards by having good friends. An individual who is negligent is led upwards by being diligent. An individual who is faithless is led upwards by being faithful. An individual who is conscienceless is led upwards by having a sense of conscience. An individual who is imprudent is led upwards by being prudent. An individual who is uneducated is led upwards by being well educated. An individual who is lazy is led upwards by being energetic. An individual who is unmindful is led upwards by being mindful. An individual who is witless is led upwards by being accomplished in wisdom. An individual who is attached to their own views, holding them tight and refusing to let go, is led upwards by not being attached to their own views, not holding them tight, but letting them go easily. Truly, Kunda, if you're sinking down in the mud, you can't pull out someone else who is also sinking down in the mud. But if you're not sinking down in the mud, you can pull out someone else who is sinking down in the mud. Truly, if you're not tamed, trained and extinguished, you can't tame, train and extinguish someone else. But if you're tamed, trained and extinguished, you can tame, train and extinguish someone else. In the same way, a cruel individual extinguishes it by not being cruel. An individual who kills extinguishes it by not killing. An individual who steals extinguishes it by not stealing. An individual who is unchaste extinguishes it by being chaste. An individual who lies extinguishes it by not lying. An individual who speaks divisively extinguishes it by not speaking divisively. An individual who speaks harshly extinguishes it by not speaking harshly. An individual who talks nonsense extinguishes it by not talking nonsense. An individual who is covetous extinguishes it by not being covetous. An individual who has ill will extinguishes it by not having ill will. An individual who has wrong view extinguishes it by having right view. An individual who has wrong thought extinguishes it by having right thought. An individual who has wrong speech extinguishes it by having right speech. An individual who has wrong action extinguishes it by having right action. An individual who has wrong livelihood extinguishes it by having right livelihood. An individual who has wrong effort extinguishes it by having right effort. An individual who has wrong mindfulness extinguishes it by having right mindfulness. An individual who has wrong immersion extinguishes it by having right immersion. An individual who has wrong knowledge extinguishes it by having right knowledge. An individual who has wrong freedom extinguishes it by having right freedom. An individual who is overcome with dullness and drowsiness extinguishes it by being rid of dullness and drowsiness. An individual who is restless extinguishes it by not being restless. An individual who has doubts extinguishes it by going beyond doubt. An individual who is angry extinguishes it by being without anger. An individual who is hostile extinguishes it by not being hostile. 
An individual who is offensive extinguishes it by being inoffensive. An individual who is contemptuous extinguishes it by being without contempt. An individual who is envious extinguishes it by being without envy. An individual who is stingy extinguishes it by not being stingy. An individual who is devious extinguishes it by not being devious. An individual who is deceitful extinguishes it by not being deceitful. An individual who is stubborn extinguishes it by not being stubborn. An individual who is arrogant extinguishes it by not being arrogant. An individual who is hard to correct extinguishes it by not being hard to correct. An individual who has bad friends extinguishes it by having good friends. An individual who is negligent extinguishes it by being diligent. An individual who is faithless extinguishes it by being faithful. An individual who is conscienceless extinguishes it by having a sense of conscience. An individual who is imprudent extinguishes it by being prudent. An individual who is uneducated extinguishes it by being well-educated. An individual who is lazy extinguishes it by being energetic. An individual who is unmindful extinguishes it by being mindful. An individual who is witless extinguishes it by being accomplished in wisdom. An individual who is attached to their own views, holding them tight and refusing to let go, extinguishes it by not being attached to their own views, not holding them tight but letting them go easily. So, Kunda, I've taught the expositions by way of self-effacement, giving rise to thought, the way around, going up and extinguishing. Out of compassion, I've done what a teacher should do for the benefit of their disciples. Here are these roots of trees, and here are these empty huts. Practice absorption, Kunda. Don't be negligent. Don't regret it later. This is my instruction. That is what the Buddha said. Satisfied, Venerable Mahakunda was happy with what the Buddha said.